morning everyone. So it is super early in the morning. Well, it's super early for me since I'm not a high schooler anymore. So it's about 9.30 right now. I actually have to get to class. But I really wanted to film a first impressions of this um, Moonshot cushion. So this is the Moonshot Face Perfection Balm Cushion and it has SPF 50 plus and PA triple plus. This retails for about 20-ish dollars. You can usually find it like 20 to 22 um, depending on which Korean website you shop it from. And the volume for this one is 12 grams and the Moonshot Cushions <clears throat> usually do not come with a refill. So it is a little bit up there in terms of price. The cushion type in this one is really interesting because it's a mesh type cushion versus the regular cushion is like um, a sponge. In here there's like a fabric that covers the product. This is what the cushion looks like. I really, really love this packaging because it's made of plastic. Personally, I really don't like the cushions that have like any sort of reflective material on it because usually cushions are supposed to be more travel friendly than regular foundations. So when it's a shiny thing, your fingerprints get all over it and it gets scratched up really easily. So with plastic, you can't really see that. I do think the plastic on this is a little bit lower quality than what I'm expecting from Moonshot. I think it's about the regular size for a cushion foundation. It's not very slim, so it's going to be a little bit bulky to put in your bag, but still a lot more travel friendly than a regular foundation. Now opening the cushion, it's really easy to use. The refill container is like your regular cheap refill. This is really cool. I really like this kind of cushion because it feels high quality, honestly. I really like that the strap is super thick so it's easier to hold on to. I feel like I could just, I feel like I could just use two fingers and it still work. The mirror in here, oh my god. Please tell me that's like a film. Okay, there's a film over the mirror. Peel that off so you can see how good the mirror is. Oh, the mirror is pretty good. It's like very HD because I know a lot of compacts that I've used before are very fuzzy or not high quality mirrors. So it's nice that there's a good big mirror in here. I do have to say the shade range is really really bad honestly. With Korean cushion foundations usually the shade range is very very small and it's usually more to the lighter side. For me I'm a little bit tan so um, sometimes there won't be a shade for me. Now I'm really hoping that this shade is gonna match me but I feel like it's gonna be a little light. I got it in shade 301 which looks like the most yellow dark one to me so I'm really hoping this is gonna match. So I'm just gonna get into applying this now. Now online it says it's supposed to be a dewy finish. Let me just peel this baby off. I'm gonna try pressing in there. Uh, now that's a lot of grease I'm getting right now, but I think if I keep pressing, yeah, I'm starting to get some coverage. Alright, so that's the shade. Let's hope that is light color. I don't like the refill. Look, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the way it shakes up and down, it's like it doesn't fit perfectly. I don't really like that. It feels cheap now, because I feel like this could easily just like come off, because it's like a detachable part. So, oh my god. I just pressed it in decently hard and I got a ton of product, alright. Okay, so that's what first application looks like. I think the color is going to be okay. It's not going to be exactly my shade, but it's all I can get at this point with Korean foundations. Oh, if you guys don't know, I'm NC30 in MAC. Oh, I'll put my shade comparisons down below, so like in case anyone wants to know exactly how accurate the shade is. So Moonshot says that this is a dewy, high coverage foundation. I'm gonna see if they can cover my eye bags. So I already put on sunscreen and um, my moisturizer today, so let's hope it's gonna be enough. I think it's a pretty accurate shade match in terms of how yellow I am. Because I know a lot of um, Korean foundations do lean towards the pinker side because they feel like it gives them a brighter complexion. So it's definitely not like full, full coverage. Like you can still see some of my spots peeking through, but I feel like it's good like if you have acne or like acne scars to just use a cushion foundation so you don't need to be so high maintenance for your everyday. So that's with one cut and like that covered uh, a few of my spots. 
on this side. This side I have, I this side I feel like is a little bit of my better side because I don't really have as many breakouts. I just have a lot of scars. Still a little bit more pink than my neck. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna finish with this much coverage. It's very, it's a very glowy foundation, and that's the reason why I ordered it online because I did want to try out a high coverage, dewier foundation. All right, so I think I'm pretty much done blending this on my face. I'm gonna come a little closer so you guys can see in full HD how much this covers. Actually, like, looking at this from the viewfinder, this looks really good. <laughs> like, it looks really good on my skin. It makes it feel like it's very moisturized. I don't think I'm gonna set this. It's a very humid day today, a hot and humid day. So, it's gonna be, like, in the 90s, I think. So, I'm gonna be testing this really intensely. Let's hope that I don't look super greasy by the end of the day. I'm gonna try to refrain from um, using any powder. So, it's just gonna be blotting at most. I really like the shade match though. Yeah, I like it. Alright, so I really gotta go. I am like super late to class, so I'm gonna end it here and I will see you guys in the update. Alright, see you! So I wanted to update you guys on how the foundation has been going. So right now it's about 418, so roughly seven hours since I applied this. Um, I did apply some concealer and blush and highlight while I was commuting to school. I also applied some powder, but I only applied it in my T-zone, which is where I would normally apply it. I think the foundation is holding up relatively well. I don't look greasy. Like, I'm going to zoom you guys real close. Let's see. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. All right, so I think it's doing relatively well. It hasn't really needed any blotting and it's still like giving that dewy glow. It can get really cakey. I definitely noticed this, especially in the bathroom when I was checking my makeup that it just looked unnatural, especially in the beginning. But you know how like later on your makeup like It'll start like mixing with your oils and then it starts looking more like your face, especially around my nose here. I don't know if you guys can see with this phone camera. So that's kind of what it looks like. So far, I think I'm enjoying it. If you have dry skin, you might want to avoid this because I do have this here. Now this is like a pimple. I had from like a few days ago and it was um, ginormous but then it popped and then there's like a little bit of a scab and you know how scabs have like that uneven texture you definitely can see the foundation caked up around it like it doesn't adhere to it fully so if you have dry patches you might not necessarily enjoy this um, but if you're someone with oily skin who enjoys having like a glowy dewy look I think you might like this and yeah, that's so much for the update. I'll check back with you guys um, probably around 9 or 10 when I'm going to be taking it off. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Bye!